Right guys, welcome to another video tutorial. This is Pakistan and without wasting any time, let's get right into it. So in this video tutorial, what I'm going to teach you is about Armitage. Now Armitage is actually a GUI version for Metasploit. It controls Metasploit or it has Metasploit functionality through GUI interface. So what you guys want to do is open up your terminal, which I already have. And this tab, if you're wondering, by the way, is actually updating my, upgrading my Linux distribution and I'm again not getting the speed I paid for. So let's just go back and don't worry about that. So what do you guys want to do is type in service post gray SQL start and clear this out. The service has already started. If you guys want to automate this task and just type in uh, update dash rc.d post gray SQL start now what this will do i am probably not through that is why i have got this error i'm not going to read it out what this will do is it will start okay <laughs> i haven't put enable over here so hit enter and what this does is it will uh, revoke the postgresql service on uh, every boot so let's just clear this out and what you guys want to do is actually i'm root over here so i'm just gonna open the terminal instance and let's minimize this so Armitage actually is based on a server client connection so first we should probably start MSF console so I'm gonna get root privileges and type in MSF console this should start in a little, little while so this is asking me whether yeah, I want to connect to the MSF database and just get connect uh, do you want to start the RPC servers? Yes, we do want to start the RPC servers because that will <coughs> uh, get our connections up and running. So click yes and this should fire up a GUI version of Metasploit. So let's see if Metasploit has started. Okay, it has. And let me just clear this out. Yeah, and let's wait for it to finish. And there it is guys, this is Armitage and this is how the GUI version of Armitage looks like. It hasn't loaded completely, so let's just wait a couple more seconds. Okay, now we have this and let me just clear this out. I don't think so it will go up, but let's just leave it at that. So at the very instance, you guys almost see everything is blank, but uh, let me just walk you through all this. First, you guys on the top left corner, is it? Yes. On the top left corner, you see how all the exploits are divided. So we've got auxiliary, exploits, payload and post. Now, uh, the thing about Metasploit is that any, um, what do you say? module or any yeah uh, any module that is not a payload that is not an exploit is actually an auxiliary so auxiliary modules contain payload so payloads are just payloads don't worry about that and uh, yeah that's it so these are how these are divided between um, different categories different modules and we have exploits these exploits are usually divided into the different platforms that they are supposed to run on so we've got linux osx windows whatever 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 and let me minimize this. We've got payloads again. They are divided into uh, Python based and some generic language based, etc, etc, etc. So to start hacking with Armitage, first you guys want to do is go over there and fire up your VMware and we have to start our Metasploitable. So I have already started it and there it is. So guys, if you don't know how to set up Metasploitable or if you're not getting what I'm trying to say over here, check out my other video tutorials. A link will be in the video description down below. So let's just click over here and log in with our credentials. It's MSF admin for all of us. And what the hell was that? Meh. Let's just clear this out and let me minimize this. First, I want to get the IP address. It's probably the same. Okay, it is still the same. You guys want to get the IP address of this machine because we'll be attacking this. So let's just minimize it and to pass a host or pass target in this um, army date, what you guys have to do is click on host and you can either import a list, import a list of hosts or either add a host manually. So I'm just going to go over here and type in 192.168.180.128. And as you guys can see, I've already <laughs> fixed my problem with the numlock I've been having. So let's just click add and one host is added. You can also customize the layout, how they're going to be. So if you have got multiple hosts up and running, I usually like the circle, uh, what do you say, layout because it looks pretty and uh, let's just do a little scan. So what this is doing is that it, uh, you know, Metasploit itself has uh, the modules to run a port scan so if this will let me scroll over here so this uh, just selected okay this is rotating 
but uh, this just selected a uh, auxiliary module that will uh, that is a port scanner and it passed the uh, remote host as our metasploitable machine that is up and running on the VMware it set threads to 24 I don't have 24 threads on my machine okay in a real world situation if you guys don't have 24 threads which you obviously don't uh, don't set threads to 24 just a uh, above 5 is actually kind of unstable so just keep that in mind and these are all the ports that it has passed I don't think so these are 65,535 ports which are available but who knows so as you guys can see this is a generic um, what do you say output that we would get from nmap so if we go over here and fire up nmap and open another terminal actually we could have fired nmap from over here and just without passing any stupid arguments let's just go and 192.168.180.128 and hit enter so this is the output that we have got so as you guys can see the different thing is that it only lists all the number of ports that are open but uh, it is not listing all the services so to list the services that we have got over here let's just click on services and here you go <clears throat> these are all the services up and running on our target machine so we we don't have the info usually what ha what will happen is in a real world scenario when you scan a particular host you will get the, the version number or what kind of service that is up and running on the particular host because i have seen this i have scanned some uh, different hosts and i usually get some output over here uh, in the column of info so let's just uh, click over here and what this was trying to do was fa scanner obviously we didn't work because actually in MSF operation failed. Okay, okay, okay. We'll talk about that later. So we've got one last day, and uh, let's talk about okay. One of the best features about Armitage is you guys can go and find attacks. So you can obviously do this with other. Uh, exploitation platforms but uh, this is actually kind of cool because it will gather all the exploits that things are right to attack this particular host so let me just shift my laptop screen I hope that didn't affect my mic and we've got FTP attacks HTTP attacks IRC MISC real servers samba smtp sh and these are all the attacks that are related to the services that are up and running on the host so if you guys want to tell you that we have me uh, ftp telnet smtp servers we definitely have samba servers up and running but i can't seem to find it right now so i'm not going to embarrass myself and let's just minimize this one of the coolest things about uh, armitage is hail mary now what hail mary does is once started, the Hail Mary will launch a flood of exploits at host in the current workspace. There is nothing stealthy about this action. If clumsily launching hundreds of exploits is what you would like to do, press yes. Do not do this in a real life situation. You know what? Do not do this in a controlled environment. This will not teach you anything. This is just a stupid attack and this is just you messing with the particular target. Any okay, if the guy doesn't even have an intrusion detection system, he would probably know something is up because the ridiculous amount of traffic you'll be sending you sending them from your computer to their uh, server so don't do that but if you do want to click yes please do I'm gonna click yes and let's see if we get any shells I don't think so that we would because I haven't really used Hail Mary in any situation to be honest because in real life situations I usually avoid it because um, <laughs> my client would usually lash out on me because I'm not supposed to bring the servers down if there's is any vulnerability and it will attack it so let's just wait for it to finish and let me tell you something about uh, other tools that uh, Metasploit uses so let's just open up our terminals and clear this out this is loading all the payloads and exploits so this is now launching all the exploits so let's just minimize this this is launching all the exploits one by one by one by one I don't think so these are being launched or let's go to the very top and see what's up uh, okay mr cursor come over here. okay this is launching the <laughs> exploits so let's just see if we will get any connections back by the time we do that let's just minimize this and uh, this won't go away apparently so let's just click over here and uh, okay let me get system privileges once more i should really log into my root account whenever i do this and i have to adjust my laptop again <clears throat> All right, I have to do it really slowly because my mic usually gets it. So, 
let's just clear this out now what i want to talk to you about is msf venom and that process is complete so we'll go check on that later or uh, let's just do it right now where does armitage listing sessions <laughs> i am pretty sure that it compromised the target <laughs> <laughs> because this wouldn't usually come in that okay let's just wait for it to finish two one and we may have a shell ladies and gentlemen okay we have got session id one shell php we've got this exploit okay this one worked uh this uh, particular exploit worked but uh okay let me just show you guys something banner we have 1610 exploits in the current version of metasploit do you really want to fire up over 1500 exploits just to get one working and get one shell and a huge chance of being detected trust me you do not you will get in trouble and i do not endorse any of your actions this is just for educational purposes so don't try it Okay, being stealthy is good, is great. I am doing a thumbs up right now in front of my webcam, even though it's not on. But do not go and hail marry the shit out of your target. So let's just go back to MSF Venom. Alright guys, I have to start over on MSF Venom because there were a lot of cars passing on the street. So <laughs> I am pretty sure my mic picked up all that sound. So let's just start from the very beginning on MSF Venom. Now, MSF Venom is a combination of MSF Payload and MSF Encode. Putting both of these together in a single framework for this instance gives us a lot of power. So, uh, what this does is, uh, let me just show you guys. If you type in MSF Venom and hit enter, it will show you all the help options because you clearly need it. So, what you guys can do is, it you can generate a particular payload for Windows or uh, Linux or even Androids. I am pretty sure about iOS obviously so let's just go here and I was I'm pretty sure I was building a payload for my phone to get persistence access and here it is so I was building this payload and this is totally already scripted for me so what this is doing is is it is calling on MSF Venom and I am passing dash P to set our payload uh, Android Metapreter Reverse TCP and localhost which is my IP address and we're redirecting this uh, particular what do you say payload as host.apk now if we go over here and clear this out and type in use exploit multi handler and hit enter what this does is it will start listening for all the connections that we get so once our what do you say target installs our host.apk file and runs it which sounds pretty weird because why would somebody just install a random app that we would give them but trust me if you social engineer it right people will install and run anything I'm speaking from experience trust me so if they run this file we would get a reverse connection on this handler and what we can do is we can actually go into the directory and upload files and download files and see what is going on we can take screenshots and I will you know what I'll make a, part, a whole freaking video about exploiting my phone and I can do social engineer one of my friends of course because they will kill me if I do that again so <laughs> I will make uh, the next video on this probably so watch out for that and that is it for today's video guys i hope you liked it if you did hit that like button if you didn't hit that dislike button if you want to ask us anything please leave them in the comments down below i'll be leaving all the descriptions of other videos that you guys can learn and watch so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video tutorial see ya